I'm Sunil, uh, PG1 film major. Uh, so basically, we are doing this video series to help uh, all the aspirants come up with a pure GDPI. So we'll be just talking short about experiences. Uh, I'll just give you my topic, which was uh, distance MBA versus residential program of MBA. Uh, few tips on the MBA, uh, like how to work with the GDPI is that don't cut anybody. Let everybody uh, give everybody a chance to speak. Make sure your points are valid, but don't talk irrelevant points because you will only get like a few chance to enter the discussion. So make sure your, uh, your points are relevant and just stick to the point. Make sure it's not a chaos because the moment it's a chaos, the panel will be put off from the entire, uh, all the group members. So you do not get any points of shouting or making a chaos, so don't do that. And that's it, and for the, as far as the PI is concerned, um, just focus on a uh, few questions like, uh, about yourself, which is very important. This is the this is one thing that will drive your entire interview. Everything will be linked to this. So in short, I'll say just uh, put yourself and draw a uh, map about yourself and things related to it. So and make sure you know it's not about knowing everything. It's about knowing the relevant things and knowing at least having a basic idea about everything. So if you are an engineer, probably you could uh, just work on the basics of the subjects that you want. You don't need to know it in detail. Great with work ex, just make sure you understand what work you have been doing. Understanding the work that you do and the relevance of it is very important to the panel. And just be clear about what you're speaking and have a clear roadmap about how you're planning to go about your MBA and what are your future goals are. Just get, get, make, you should be crystal clear about it. That's it. So then the, the topic uh, given to me was a current affairs topic. The topic was uh, what are the expectations that Indian population has with the new government? The, actually, the GD was uh, good enough. Uh, first of all, there was a bit of chaos. Then uh, it went smooth. Uh, there were quite a new points that were included by all the people. But then what happened was, at the last, uh, <coughs> the moderator told us that, uh, uh, give us one a couple of minutes to speak about your points. Uh, they allowed everyone to speak and give their perspective to conclude. About the PI, <coughs> it was a casual talk again. Uh, being a, having a work ex, uh, most of the time went uh, through what I did in, at my workplace. Then, uh, and uh, even there were, there were quite a few questions about uh, engineering, why GIM, uh, why finance. Uh, those are one of the cliche questions that were there. So overall, it was a good experience. Just be confident. And uh, what you are speaking, you should at least, uh, uh, if you are giving an answer, there should be a couple of uh, uh, questions that would be given back to you. So you should be prepared for that also. So if uh, you are saying something, uh, if there is a why this, why that, so you should be even prepared for that. Why uh, why you are, uh, why this and uh, <coughs> why that? So you should be even prepared prepared for that. Uh, yeah, my GD topic was again current affairs, and it was about uh, the Amadmi Party and whether activists are required in the political scenario in India right now. So because our GD was really good, I think seen that uh, a lot of the people from my panel got through into GIM. So make sure that you have a clean GD. Don't shout, don't scream, don't cut anyone off, don't be rude, and uh, you should be fine. Make sure you get, have those three, four vital points that you bring out. And uh, as far as the PI goes, just make sure that you know what you're doing, like what you did in school, why you went to do engineering or BBA or whatever what you did in BBA, what you did off, and why you went to the work experience that you did. So just make sure you know what you're doing and what you're saying and have a clear cut reasoning and you should be fine. Hi, so this part of the video is for you, for you guys to, for us to show what uh, GIM has to offer to all the pen enthusiasts. Uh, I'm a pen major and uh, GIM in terms of faculty, we have a strong faculty um, base for uh, the pin majors. We have roughly around 10 to 15 faculty that are on campus and around 10 visiting faculties. And also if you can have a look at the website which shows the number of electives that GIM has to offer in terms of pin or finance, you can have a look at that. Um, as far as in terms of infrastructure, we have just got this lab, uh, the finance lab. We have around roughly around 20 journalists over here operators and uh, it's accessible to everyone, anybody who wants to access it can do it and there are no time limits on that. Apart from the night time limits of around after 12, you cannot access it, but more or less you can. So 
So all the film enthusiasts, I'll tell you guys this, that if you have any apprehensions about not coming to GM because we have not been projected as like really good at finance, I would say that keep, take, keep all that apprehensions aside. All of us are here and we'll always be ready to help you guys because we got a lot of help from our PGP tools and the same trend, uh, it's a legacy of GM that we always try to help the PGP ones. When you guys come here, we'll have a lot to offer you in terms of finance. And uh, talking about the batch profile, it's improving day by day, I mean uh, year by year rather. Uh, the batch profile that last year was, uh, there were out of 240, there were 70, at max 75 people uh, who took PIN as a major. But this time we are expecting it to somewhere around 90 to 100. So the improvement shows that the quality of uh, education that is given by the faculties and even the peer group that the people are uh, getting uh, here as a uh, in terms of total batch. So even that's improving. So uh, the infrastructure even for uh, finance is improving. So even the, that's uh, completely shown in the increase in the number of batch profiles. Uh, as far as the club board goes, I mean, uh, you have uh, Sophia and Vinidhan. Sophia is the finance club of GIM, and Vinidhan is the student investment fund that has uh, just been incepted in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, so, I mean, uh, our batch, our seniors were the one who founded uh, Vinidhan. And what we do right now at Vinidhan is uh, in line with industry expectations of equity analysis and uh, technical research and all those fundamental research and everything else. So, uh, to keep it short, I mean, I think uh, our batch has a lot to offer and we'll have, you'll have a very strong finance batch if you do end up coming to GIM. Hi, I'm Deepak. Uh, I'm an IIT graduate and I have five years work ex and of that I have four years work ex as an uh, interest rate derivatives trader. Uh, I'm a PGP1 at GIM. Over here, we started a fund called uh, Vinitin. Uh, it's a student managed investment fund. Uh, it's one of the five funds in India and it has been accepted since one year. It was The idea was conceptualized by our seniors and we officially started the fund. Uh, we are guided by a very, very able professor, Professor Amiya Sahu. And over here, we do equity research, we do technical analysis, we do fundamental research, we create reports, we have portfolio management uh, and this gives a real life experience into what theory we study during our course and most of the work which we do are more than what we cover normally in a two year MBA course and this, is, this has been a huge learning curve for me and for everyone else and as a result, as you can see, we already have four CFA level 1 students here and most of them are preparing for CFA level 2 as well.